Today we're going to be installing a uh, sway bar on the back of my Weiss Mirage. Um, this is the part right here. Uh, we got the one from Ultra Racing. Um, it's actually, it's pretty well made. The, the welds are kind of shit. Um, but in general, it's, you know, well put together. Uh, this is, you know, a performance part for the Mirage. Um, but it's not thick like a real like performance sway bar, you know. Uh, it's about the size of, the, of a factory sway bar. So while it, is, it will improve the performance of the car, um, it's not like a race car part uh, by any means. Um, basically, our procedure is we're going to jack her vehicle up. Um, and uh, remove both the struts. Uh, bolt and once the struts are loose um, the suspension will come down and we can uh, put this bar in all right so the first thing I'm doing is unbolting this bolt right here uh, once that comes out these should uh, drop and so when we lift up the car um, gravity will do the work of taking the pressure off these springs this is a uh, 17 millimeter bolt all right uh, we've gotten the bolt out uh, the shock dropped down um, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side here and uh, next time you'll see me the car will be in the air all right so we've got this side jacked up enough now that we can pull out the uh, the spring uh, what we're gonna do is get this plate right here put it in there and then uh, bolt it down uh, to this end of the bar I'm gonna put the spring back in and then we're gonna do the same thing to the other side all right we've got this side over here installed uh, we put the spring back in lowered it down now on the opposite side we're gonna bolt it up and see how it goes so I was having a hard time uh, getting this bar you know to go across uh, and get the bolts up in there on this side uh, so what I did is I got my jack and I lowered it down enough for it to be at ride height um, and then I went ahead and got the bolts in I'm gonna jack this thing back up and then slap in the spring and I think we should be ready for our first test drive okay so the bar is on uh, the whole thing was relatively painless um, uh, putting that spring back in over here on this side was um, not tough but it took some work um, because this bar stiffens up this rear brace so much um, that the uh, the tire doesn't drop enough to get the spring back in so I had to keep the car jacked push down on the tire and pop that spring back in um, now I'm gonna jack the car up one last time uh, from the middle so we can bolt these guys back in all right so review time is this uh, a good piece of equipment you know uh, is it worth it uh yeah sure um you know does it turn the car into a race car no um you know i mentioned at the beginning that while this is a uh you know a, you know a, a racing sway bar it's not really a race car part uh it's about in fact uh when i had the car in the air i was looking at the front sway bar and this is much thinner um you know i mean typically the rear is softer than the front but I mean, you know, this is supposed to be, a, you know, a quote unquote ultra racing part. And, you know, like I said, it's not. It, it just, it improves the ride um, to that of a, just a regular car. So is this an upgrade? Yeah, but it's really kind of more like a resto mod where, you know, it makes the car what it always should have been. Um, I uh, did like a, a short slalom before and after. Uh, I definitely noticed the rear end of this thing um, didn't give and, and yaw like it used to. Um, but I think the biggest thing I noticed is whenever I took this through a couple different potholes around my neighborhood, um, that uh, the shocks didn't bottom out or um, you know have any of those hard stops that you know these mirages are kind of known for. So uh, that alone totally worth it. Um, yeah, I mean buy it if you've got the money do it 
um, if you don't got the money, just burning a hole in your pocket, I'd pass. Uh, like I said, it just makes the car basically like any other car. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, see you next time.